Hello again, database enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode in our MySQL Mastery series. We've already covered MySQL database design and creating MySQL tables. Today, we're going to dive into designing database relationships, including one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many relationships. So, if you're ready to build a web of interconnected tables, hit that like button and let's get started. Database relationships are the connections between tables that allow us to link related data. They're essential for maintaining data consistency and integrity. Primary keys and foreign keys are used to create relationships in MySQL. There are three main types of relationships, one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. -many. Let's explore each of them in detail. In a one-to-one -one relationship, each record in table a corresponds to exactly one record in table B. Think of it as a strict pairing, like a marriage between two tables. We'll establish a one-to-one -one relationship between customers and customer addresses here. Each customer has a unique address, and each address is linked to a single customer. We'll use the customer ID as the primary key in the customer's table and as a foreign key in the customer addresses table. In a one-to-many relationship, one record in table A can be related to multiple records in table B. It's like a parent with multiple children. Let's create a one-to-many relationship between authors and books. An author can write several books, but each book only has one author. Well, use the author ID as the primary key in the author's table and as a foreign key in the books table. Finally, In a many-to-many -many relationship, multiple records in table A can be related to multiple records in table B. Imagine a bustling marketplace where many customers can purchase many products. We need an intermediary table called a junction table to create a many-to-many -many relationship. In our example, we'll create a relationship between customers and books using a orders junction table. The orders table will have foreign keys referencing both the customers and books tables, linking them together. And there you have it. You've just unlocked the secrets of designing database relationships in MySQL, including one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many connections. Keep practicing and experimenting to strengthen your understanding of these relationships. In our next video, We'll delve into querying related data using joins, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow database wizards. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!